Energy. Well, anyway, the next thing is going to start. I just want to point out that this is going to be the bronze match, which is going to be Flipstep and Lowry versus Skazi and Yogg'Sothoth. And it's going to start out on Icy Run for some reason. I think maybe they want the bronze match to be shorter. That would be nice. I appreciate that. And then the next map is going to be something like CCR. But... <laughs> I don't know. 1v1 CCR seems to work okay, but 2v2 CCR, I don't know. Um... The teams aren't right. <laughs> well, and... It's Team 1 and Team 3 rather than Team 1 and Team 2. Yeah. Alright, so we oh, nice. have... The next game... No, it does. <laughs> oh, crap, it screwed up again. Okay. Why does it keep happening? Normally I don't get the team indicators. I got some careful tweak mode stuff. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Got it. All right. I think. Unless if I do deluxe in out. All right. Anyway, so yeah, we are going to be. No oh, team three. What the? Oh, team thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Well, once the players understand how to count, we will be getting on to this game. But apparently they forgot. <laughs> You see, they seem to think that 13 comes after 1, when, in fact, it doesn't. <laughs> As I'm sure you all know, uh -oh. and everyone knows, the venerable number 4 comes after 1. But, of course, I really can't blame them. Apparently, just It was Team 13. Days. Yeah, no, I, they, they, they got mad at me for spoiling that because <laughs> they wanted the game to be. But I, I, I don't think it's worth casting a game where they have commanders both start on top of each That's other. That's stupid. And even for IC run. <laughs> But yeah, it's, I mean, balance exists for a reason, although admittedly it doesn't exist in, in regular hosted rooms like this. But still, get on Perceived two. balance. No, I meant the balance command. Or C balance, I guess it would be for teams, but yeah. Exists for a reason. Because we don't have it handle the non two anyway, whatever. We're going to get on to this eventually, so... I don't know. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, thank you, Google, for, for explaining in the chat what exactly is going on. So yeah, basically, for people who don't under who don't know, who might be watching this later because this is casted live. But of course, people watching YouTube. The way it works is when players have a team, they have a start box. Now every map has start boxes that are actually set by the lobby, but basically, it almost is like the map itself. These start boxes, there are at least two of them, sometimes more. But if a team is not actually tied to any of those start boxes, which only really happens due to some errors or because they intentionally change their team, which are both actually kind of user experience issues that might, might be dealt with. But beside the point, if that happens, they can choose to place their commander anywhere on the map because the game doesn't know what to do with them. Except yeah. on Wednesdays. We, we've oh. restarted again, though, and um, it's... A, again, a brawler rush versus a what? actually a raven start this time. Hang on, what? did you are you not are you not in? I, I don't see any change. <coughs> what do you the mean? The lobby doesn't look like it's changed. The the players look the same. They are just playing. No, the game They're started. Fun. What? I can't even get into the are you lobby not in? again. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my one sec. It broke. So okay, oh, that, that, what happened? Terribly sorry. Canadian Google. internet broke. Mm -hmm. I said Canadian internet broke. It's just that 0k lobby went wonky for some reason. But I can get it back up. It's not a big deal. I'll live briefly. And miserably. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, we've streamed, we've paused just as, um, Yogster Toth's air hit, bomb, first bomber has been spotted by some dirt bags. At least I think so. Uh. So, so, it's not the best time to pause. I don't, I don't think it'll matter that so much. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No, they're, dis they're discussing now how to beat the bombers. 
great. And why is there a lobby nuts? Oh, there it is. <laughs> sorry about viewers. I'm really sorry. I I don't know why the lobby just went and basically froze up without even being obvious about freezing up, but uh, that's never happened to me before. <laughs> Yo, so it's like, this pause is way too tactical. It's uh, tactical. It's almost strategic. But yeah. Um, They're it's forcing to catch up so they can yeah. spot. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, well, it doesn't really help them when the stream is just showing the tournament results. Nope. <clears throat> Are you lo is the lobby launching all right? Yeah, it's up. It's just taking all the load. To load into the map or the, no, 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 into no, the no, game? No, the lobby itself. The lobby. Okay, whatever. The lobby shouldn't take. I don't know. I'm, I think my computer might have some issues. Anyway, the... I don't even know why I'm discussing this on the stream as it's going. Okay. Do you need to restart again? No, or? I'm in. I'm rejoining. I okay. don't let them start yet, but I am rejoining. <laughs> you can tell them. Once they're in the room, you can type to tell them to go. So, yeah. You can... Uh, okay, <laughs> now I'm in. Let's just get this all going. And, oh, hey, the, the team count is correct again. Okay, good. Yeah, let them go again. Whatever. They may now begin. Sorry about that, viewers. I uh, was technical difficulties. Live, everybody! And so on and so forth. So, yeah. Oh, and apparently I'm catching up forever. All right, so we have... Oh, yeah, that was just spotted. It's a bomber. War zone active. It's bomber. And it's doing bombery things. <laughs> <laughs> he, t he did a sharp right hand turn to <laughs> the Braven just as he unpaused to see if he could dodge out the sight range of the um. Ooh. Yeah, but it didn't work. Oh, no. it didn't get the convict. Well, no, it's not going to get the convict. Why? It, that takes two shots. Can't you dive underneath the shield anymore? Not, you not can, that one. But, um, you need a run up. Like a significant one, which means you need a scout. Yeah. So, I think he has found out about the air now. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I think something tipped them off. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I don't know. Let's see how this brawler will do, because the brawler should just get bummed out if they learned from the last game. The next two things queued are two tridents, though. So. Yeah, they learned from the last game. And they, they were, they were playing against it, so they know sort of what to do. Although they're not coming for the rapier. Going a bit yeah, more there goes the constructor. Here. It's just the first casualty. And there's another bomber coming in already. There is. That'll get rid of the Vandal. It will kill the anti-air bot. Yep, that Vandal's down. Free kill. And then the Brawler on top of that will be going out, dealing with these Glaze pretty quickly. And actually, this is going to have free reign, too. Louder's commander under some threat, but the Brawler will be able to save the day. Coming in. He oh, might no, lose I'm the commander threat. anyway. <laughs> nope, the commander's gone. Well, like, and yeah. all his bandits. Oh, oh man, 113 okay. health. Oh, where is that bomber now? Well, it's coming up pretty quickly, but it... Oh, wow. It's it goes. just up. Hide. Just got up Underneath again. the convict uh, uh, shield. Oh, it's getting repaired by the convict anyway, so it should have... No, oh, it, no, it, it, it should not have uh, nope. enough hit points. No, it isn't. Loud it should stay. There are three bombers anyway, so... Oh, there are? Okay. That, wait, they get, they're going to bomb the brawl first, I think. Yeah, and there's no reason but not to. Especially in the brawler. He wants to bomb the brawler first, I guess. He commander. That is going to... Yeah, That's be bomb prime the brawler, there. bomb the brawler. <laughs> and that, oh, doesn't even kill it. Although the gremlin will finish it off. Just yep, barely, yeah. but does finish it off. However, nice raider, come, nice bandits coming in here as extra support right at the end there. Get rid of that gremlin and ultimately not make that a particularly effective attack. However, glaive coming down the south and that... Okay, so let's just work from here. We have the glaive coming down the south. That's, I think, a little bit too slow. Like, at this point... There's probably enough... There's, the Brawler's the only real threat. The Trident's up. Oh, well, the Brawler's gone. But more Brawler's the only real threat. The Trident's are up. And the Black Dawn's coming what in What can they do against three of those uh, Ravens? Well, they have a Trident. For the coming five minutes. No, he can bomb the Trident. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well... You totally can. I guess... Here he goes. Just distract them enough anti here <laughs> that they don't know what to bomb. <laughs> because there's not really much to be done here. Oh, he still it's lost like, a Bomber. Oh, down. yeah. He, that was being heavily attacked by the Trident before it came in. But only lost one. 
So I mean, the thing is, it takes two ravens to kill a trident. And Yogg can rebuild enough. It's not the biggest deal. And then, of course, at the same time, skazi has got the ground forces coming in, the glaives coming in. Just needs to mass them up. But once that's happened, and also possibly maybe some warriors, but definitely glaives. Once it gets massed up, going especially along the right routes. Because, of course, the center here, I believe... Yeah, the center here can be passed through by the Glaives. They can dodge the bandits pretty easily. And just get around from there. Although, admittedly, a Newton coming in just in case that does happen from Flipstip. Which... Oh, boy. Not a bad idea to do. But <coughs> it's still a little bit awkward. I think a Stardust too, would be more so. useful here. I honestly think the Newton's a bit of a joke. I, I mean, in general. like I've never quite understood, besides the novelty factor of... Really playing with the impulse mechanics. No, the Newton is for the sh Ravens. That's why he's making oh, it. Oh, right, of course. What am I thinking? He can turn it. He can turn it. He can flip it to attract, and the Raven. He'll trap at least one Raven, which will allow the defenders to kill at least one Raven. Perhaps right now it's on repulse, so clearly that's not completely. <laughs> yeah. Playing. Hopefully he's paying attention. Hopefully. It looks like Laurie's commander might go down. The Ravens are going to the south anyway. I don't know if. Maybe just a poor reader. Oh, he's not going what? to bombard the commander. Why? Why? He doesn't have he doesn't have intel on it. He, yeah. He, he didn't have enough of it. He was on top of it. He didn't he didn't want to lose his ravens. He he knew that Tom. Yeah. Well. He might lose them. No constant intel anyway. There's no radar that far. Though Amelia Skazi could be believing radar that far, but hasn't done so. Does have a gremlin that far though? At least that's scouting out. Does know what's going on there, but doesn't really know much else. And more... No, no more rooms coming in. In fact, looks like... What, is Yogg-Sath not building anything? yogg not building anything at this point. Just repairing the Ravens and not building any further ones. I, maybe yogg going for a ground switch, but I don't see beyond that what they could be doing, given the lack of investment. And Black Dunn coming in here, not super vulnerable to these three Ravens. Yogg-Sath's commander, however, is... It's on hold fire, so... Yeah, oh, no, nice. Commander jumped away just the time. That was, that was a wonderful dodge. That's what you play Recon Comp for. Because those dodge jumps... That's how you dodge. To. You don't have enough hit points. And that, that Newton's still on a... It's still on repulse. So there really goes help. the commander. Yeah, that, that was... Well, it, uh, it worked. <laughs> it, it did... Oh, yeah, I guess it did, huh? They, they did kill the bombers, but... Yeah. That was a weird way to do it, but I guess it works. If it works, it works. Here comes Blast Wings for oh, the Oh, come on. Haters, blast Wing. It, oh, they're actually, he's actually failing to use them correctly. But at yeah, that's, that's how you do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah Blast Wings are kind of weird to use correctly, though. Because, like, knowing how the shrapnel is going to go out is just... I don't know. Because you have to target it so that the shrapnel hits them. Against, um, against Raiders, you just need to be in the middle of the pack. Oh, okay. You know, and just explode. Because the, the hit point's low enough there that it's more for if you want to hit a defender or something, because the defender will hit you before you're in range, so you need to blast them with a shrapnel. Oh. Um, but but versus raiders and things, uh, the AoE is enough that it will kill them. Okay, so it's AoE you just and shrapnel? As close as possible. Yeah, there's oh, okay. AoE and shrapnel. Yeah, the, the description's not particularly clear on that. Or at least, let me think. Death Explosion. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. I guess that was changed recently. Well, not recently, but in the last few months. The blast wings oh, obviously well, the haven't changed much says... use, so I'm not surprised. But yeah, okay, they're rarely used. Yeah. Gremlin does spot the second blackton here, but Skazi's not responding to it. Although, unfortunately, that blackton does waste shots, but still, Skazi's not responding to this. That could have killed all of these glaives, but nope. Nah, Skazi doesn't care. Going back and <coughs> not doing much on top of that. Well, Yonkstoth setting up the front line, so the front line has been laid out. And I would really love to see some more of these. Oh yeah, hammers would be Our hammers. Actually, they're uh, coming. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Warrior and then Hammer and then Zeus. And Wiven. Yep. There's a Wiven oh, in production. Wow. Nice. So that this defender yeah. line will not last long, so at least the game's gonna be dynamic. And there's the first hammer. Coming off. Where is the hammer? No. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There's our hammer. Firing off into the distance. Not knowing what's shooting out, but getting rid of Defender nonetheless. And that works out pretty well, but... Oh! Black Dawn does nah. not hit the hammer at all. Hits the Gremlin a little bit. Lowry, Here comes Dirtbags. Yeah. Dirtbags for a bit of intel. And also, did a bit of damage I think too, they were yeah. trying to snipe the hammer. But 
mostly intel. Yeah. Because what else are they going to do besides headbutt a little bit? Which admittedly isn't that bad, but still, it's just, well, yeah, you don't use di Dirtbag's attack is kind of nice, but how often do people even use it for their main force? Really? And It's more of an opportunistic thing oh, if yeah, you get totally. in and there's no defense. It's, if there's nothing there. Which can happen in larger maps. Yeah, that's sure. what you need to punish a player for. This is often what you use raiders for is to punish a player if they naked expand. Yeah. But usually they don't naked expand. But you still have to make ra raiders because sometimes they will. It's one of those hedging your bets thing again. And, and it is. The, the attack on dirt bags allows you to do that. So. Oh, without, yeah, for 50 metal uh, too. I suppose to 75 for the bandit with, I think, slower. Is it bandit slower? I don't remember. I never really checked actually. The, anyway. um, the dirt bag's only 30 metal. It's actually oh, yeah. Really 30 metal as opposed to 75. So that's even better. It was like a flea, and it's slower though, but still, it's it's, too, it's like 40% the cost, so it works. Works quite nicely. And as does that hammer, taking care of the, oh, not quite taking care of the defender, not even going for it, going for the outlaw instead. Not the best shot, this black on here. Not sure what Flip-Tip is trying to kill, because went for it solar plants, as opposed to the metal extractor, went for gremlins as opposed to <coughs> hammers and glaives. It's just he'd be better off with the uh, brawler, these um defenders along the south and the hammer. There's a single hammer that's taken out three defenders along the south already, and it, with the brawler himself, he could just take out the um yeah the defenders. I think he's is it me or that hammer is actually pretty accurate? Oh, I think versus um static targets, it's perfectly accurate. Yes, I don't remember them being so accurate. They're, they're 100 percent accurate. Actually, they, they have line of sight. Oh. Blue team has line of sight on that. Oh, here comes the the big one, the Licho. Where are they getting line of sight from? Oh, there's a gremlin uh, in the back. Who's an expensive Skazi, scout? Guys, Skazi has a gremlin in the back, so that's how Yogshoth yep. has perfect aim on everything there. Or rather, Skazi's hammer has perfect aim because they can actually see everything going on. Although that has been stopped oh, now, but still, that that was worth pointing out because Dudes, here they come. that wasn't just radar. Here's the Black Dawn to deal with them. And the Black Dawn <coughs> is going to be able to deal with them pretty effectively, I think. Ah, got rid of, well, damaged one of them slightly. On the reload and... Yeah, the force coming up now. Yeah, second shot's gonna come in fairly soon. Yogg'Sath pulling back. That reload, ooh, coming in and, well, actually, no, still not quite. And that Zeus now is pretty much free reign. Though Felon trying to come in, that Felon actually has enough shields. That will work. Thanks to the convicts, that will work. Get rid of that Zeus and down it goes. Now they know, and they still have a Licho. And they could get sharpshooters. Yeah, hey. And actually, the Licho is the option. Oh, no, what? What? Boom. Still construct okay, this not time. a bad push, true. That's, that... Yeah. Uh, wasn't the best construction to pick the middle one? If you better. want to play long term, you take out the Yeah, I think first. they're... You take out the stuff at the front, so you don't lose the weapon is the big thing. Oh, yeah, I guess. You don't want to go too just, deep. In that case, hitting the center would have been a better splash because it would have killed all the workers, but that was a very specific situation. Uh, I I can totally see why that was the target was chosen. Skazi and Yogtotov have a bigger army. They, they have a better. Do, do, do not have a bigger yeah. income, or do they? They have a. It's hard to see. Uh, Lowry has income. the biggest income with 18 metal, and then Skazi and Yogtotov have the 12 each. Or yeah, 12 each, and flips to along 10. the south. That comes in danger. Yogs come jumps away. No, Yogs come is. Oh, not quite done yet. Yeah. The defender oh, that's so it. dangerous with the Lico. And the Lico uh, coming, oh, sorry, coming in and finishes off oh, everything, boy. tearing apart that <laughs> felon. Nice Back shot. Back times. This was how Zero K was played a year ago. <laughs> but it, on Icy Run, yes. Oh, it's always played on Icy Run. Yeah. It, the no, I mean with uh, Lico's oh, with uh, bombing run, everything. Yeah. And I don't... I can't say I'm surprised, but I can say that it's... Probably for the best that it's stopped for the most part. <laughs> I mean, I can kind of see it working out from time to time, but it seems like it's the sort of thing where if you have to use it, everything's way too turtly. <laughs> because right now, everything's yeah. way too turtly. Here comes, here comes again. Well, at least it's oh, breaking the turtle, if nothing else. But yeah, that's... Down goes that first shot, and honestly, I don't know why they thought... There's a Reaper as well. Short I see game. a Tremor being made. Oh yeah, there's a, a tremor. Totally yeah, missed it. there was a switch to heavy tank factory, and Re yeah, tremor should finish things off. The reapers gonna be able to get rid of this fairly easily, but the black dawn's gonna go for the warrior. What? Yeah, warrior. It's not doing very much damage. Uh, it's, it's it's spread is 
too much. Yeah, it's really hard for the black don't do anything other than anti reader or the right angle like that. Nail something. Yeah, you need to if you're a little bit further from the target, you actually you missile spread a lot more. While if you're right on top of the target, you can blast them all with uh, the you can make sure all the missiles hit. Yeah, it's really tricky to work with. I don't know. Yeah, if, I, I'm sure Loud would must or the flips it might know that Loudy would if he was. It, it, it takes practice. It takes a lot of practice. Just move into it instead of attack mode. Yeah. Well, it's not just move. It's hold fire move. Because you have to hold fire, move, and then use manual attack. Or move in such an angle. Generally, what I do is I move in such an angle that... Oh, another Wyvern. There it goes again. Another Wyvern shot in the center of the map. Nice one there. But yeah, I can see what you mean. I tend to move in such an angle that my firing arc is not over the unit. Then I turn it towards the unit and give an attack order. But um, hold fire works. Uh, Loudish commander about to go down. Losing yeah, for no he's reason dead. at all. Just pushing in front. I mean, I guess trying to defend, but I guess the Reaper, that wasn't going to work out. It did have a ninja skin. Maybe it thought it was uh, invisible or uh, oh, had and camouflage. And commander about to get damaged by that. There we go. Ooh. Well timed jump He's doing as really usual. well. Yeah. Yogstuff can really pull those off. So, still at this point, not much ground has been gained. <coughs> I mean, Scott's Yogstuff probably can just brute force in fairly soon. No, oh, with the Tremor and Scott, they're okay, just uh, up. Yeah. building up their army advantage. They're not losing anything. No, Tremor is up and it's going to be ripping everything apart. This is a. This is. game? Sticking to small units for too long on these type of games usually loses you the game. Yeah, I see one as surprisingly macro for a map that's like what is it? Twelve by no, eight by four or something like that? Some ridiculously like small size? Or six by four? Eight mexes or something. Yeah. But yeah, the reason is because it's it's long and it's thin, which allows you to use, you know, like three light laser towers. Yeah, it just means you're gonna um, spend three minutes. Cover the everything. entire end of the map. Or two HLTs, so yeah, it's actually very easy to defend with, which means yeah. you get to the big late game units. Which affords you the 15 minutes to build everything, or anything. Because mm. I mean, it's not like this you is only a, a 15 minute long game. Exactly, we're already up to tremors and withens and snipers and and reapers and everything. Yep. But wow, I guess that tremor definitely. It's it's like Christmas, except explodey. <laughs> well, if you look at the right angle, it's like yeah. snow. Hot. You want to talk about def counters to a, def a forest of defenders? A tremor is a, a, a counter to a, to a forest of defenders. Well, we're talking artillery in general, right? I mean, tremor just happens to be but all the artillery the at, once at once in rapid fire. Yeah, it's a very good choice actually because it's also. Really oh, good he took. Shields. He sniped uh, the anti-air rocket turret. Hmm. So now the weapon can get in, in again. Uh, Actually, not sure if they even one shot him, so <laughs> I don't think it matters. Snipers are so good in situations like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Every hit, this is just a guaranteed kill on this. On everything that's on the map now. Now you have a safe line of turrets to uh, shoot from. Oh, yeah, it looks like they're going for the brawler next, although we're not sure if it's going to. That has no target so far. No, the sharpshooter here in the center has no target thus far. And if it's not careful, it might actually start accidentally shooting crayons. Although the Black Dawn, ooh, there's a juicy target. And is it going to shoot it? Is it going to shoot it? It can't shoot air, right? Oh, it yeah. shoots the hill. Wow. That did not quite work out. It's passed out at the last second. Yes, unfortunately it did. Those Black Dawns just took out two Zeus's, by the way. Yeah, which is a bit of a shame because that Sharp Shooter could have stopped them. However, we're at the bottom. Brawler stopped as well by anti air, but yeah, the word at the bottom does manage to still keep this free. So, not much to consolidate anything, and thanks to that tremor, all the defenses go down. So, Flipsip and Lowry can basically be completely overrun. And at this point, well, he's trying to snipe uh, the um, tremor. Oh, wait, but. Ah, yes, there. Well, that was successful, that's for sure, but I think at this point it's way too late. Yeah, and he might lose his um, black dogs. No, they're gonna. Uh, he might get out of life, actually. Oh no, the, the one in the back will die, but the one in the front will live. No, it will uh, not. Oh wow, 29, 29 hell. Did not call it one shot away. That was that was good. Kept it alive. <laughs> or Sprung says, super lucky, more than good. But hey, yeah, it works. Um, Lipstick is going for a crow now. <laughs> Um, I, what? I think Strider time. Yeah, I think Laurie should have gone a while ago for a for a proper felon ball with a shield. Yeah, um, because 
uh, a weapon won't go through that, so it needs to dive underneath, which means it exposes itself to felon fire, which means it can actually get sniped by the felon. He tried so, it, but the felon was out of charge because it just did an attack on a commander and a couple turrets. Uh, he didn't build a, a, an aspis, though. So no. he, he, used, he used a felon thug ball, which yeah, is Yeah, it, it was a pretty one small one, too. Felon okay. thug, like, one felon, two thugs, three convicts. Yeah. And that... Which, which is a fine early game push, but like late wasn't game... early game, that was like 10 minutes into the game. And that was yeah, on defense. Yeah. So yeah, you're exactly right. What, this far into the game, you definitely need like an Aspis if you're going to keep using shields into the, this late into the game on a map this claustrophobic. Which is not happening. Actually, neither is a felon. I actually. see a level 2 jump commander um, with more plating and power servos. Okay. Whose is that? Sure. It's uh, Jogsotov. Oh. Ah. The economies are still pretty even because nobody's taking the middle extractors in the middle and nobody's really securing their claim. So, they're still into it, even though the left side has lost a lot of ground. Their rogue army is now actually being really effective. Well, Skaz and Yaxath have their central is center it? expansion. Flipstam and Lowry don't have it's their It's keeping side. everything at bay. Rogues are really good against Zeus, they're good against commanders. They're all right yeah. against Reapers, too. But the wor Especially the when Wyvern can come in and tear them apart. Actually, yeah. as, as will a Thunderbird right now, or would have, it should have, but didn't. However, he needs a follow up, I think. When the Reapers are in position, he can send the yeah. Thunderbird in, definitely. And that would just. Well, it would sort of be my part, I guess. I mean, the speed is definitely there. He can be very effective against the Wyvern if he spreads his, his rogues enough. Um, Would the rogues hit it? When he sees it, if he just immediately spreads his rogues out. But here it comes, and I don't think he's going no, to. No, don't, does not see it at all. He's going to hit the edge anyway, so hard to dodge regardless. And down that goes. That's three more down. Wyvern is doing a fine job. It's just doing a thing with a job. I mean, that will burn. That will burn in that tremor. That's basically what's been giving Skaz and Yogg's out the opening they need to win this game. Yeah, and definitely. Flipstip, unfortunately, building way too many Black Dons, and this crow is not going to be up in any decent amount of time. I mean, the Black Don Brawler, that might be able to buy the time they need, but that's still going to be five minutes before the crow comes in. Yeah, at least. He needs to secure some of this reclaim oh, definitely. and turn the crow. The reclaim. If you could get the... the um, and get these metal extractors back too. I mean, there's not much raiding going on, or not much yeah. artillery going on anymore. Raiding? <laughs> Which mechs do you want to raid? I want the one <laughs> by the beach. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's not on the map. I, I, think, so I think that the no. I think that the um, the brawler is a is is still doing pretty well as good as well because it can be used as an artillery. Oh, unit. the brawler, yeah. The black dons have the black dons have yeah. had variable usefulness. They've had good snipes. And they've had a lot of dud shots. Although that was actually not a bad spread shot. Given that they're more expensive than the baller, I think sticking with the baller is probably more sound on a map like this. Where you need to maximize, you know, your uh, return on investment, you need to maximize your unit efficiency so that you're repairing your units so that you're, you know, not taking too much damage, which is why Wivens, uh, artillery, mm -hmm. and retreat and repair are so strong. And, and heavy the units like will be strong once it gets mm. up. I mean, 16,000 health by the way. on top of all the damage it's going to deal. <laughs> It's fifty percent done. So if he pumps all of his economy into it, maybe even Lavoy pumps into some of his economy into it, it's actually going to be really hard to defeat. Mm -hmm. that, that would be the comeback. It's, he can uh, shoot it with his uh, Wyvern. Yeah, possibly. Uh, it, with the Wyvern, actually, mostly does impulse damage. Um, it doesn't actually. It does a fair amount of flat damage. Definitely enough to kill smaller but units. But a lot of it's But something like Strider level unit. It does actually a real damage. Yeah, it's it's not. It would take so many loads that the crow would be in the base and would be able to bomb the air pad before it hits more than a couple of times at most. Mm. I mean, the crow is. And he can disarm it with the uh, stiletto. Yeah, because well, we're still dealing with the yeah. The stiletto really doesn't damage really do flat. enough damage actually. Yeah, because the the stiletto actually relies on its splash damage when its bolts hits the ground. It splashes in an area. Since the crow is also have a super ground, commander, by the way. Hit, exactly. Yeah, Yarkstad's commander is level three commander. Yeah. Currently on the road to being a troll com and flips are trying it's, to deal with it. Its name is actually old one versus one meta. <laughs> Do you remember when it was all yeah, that it was, was all five months ago? Yeah. That was in March. So that's the one he's using. Beam laser, concussion shot, auto repair, then plating servos, yep. servos plating. Yeah, because that was the meta after the change that allowed for economy on all commanders rather than just the sport com. So people started yeah, playing yeah. things other than Sporecon, primarily Reconcom, and then from there we had the old 1v1 meta. 
Yep. Or just take Junior by default. <laughs> Which it has always been the, the best way to play. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's actually... Well, Skazi was actually bad. demanding <laughs> that, in, after the last one, that everyone go Junior. Yeah, I've been saying that for about the, two the, years. The very last game, or...? No, the last tournament. The last 2v2. In July. last 2v2 tournament. There were there a lot of was there a lot of commander I it was using in April the April one it might have been. but yeah it was April I think it might have been April or June that Skazi had this list mm -hmm. of things he wanted to have in the next two tournament one of them was everyone uses junior comp it's something we considered actually for that one of us one servers should just use junior comp because you know it takes takes it out of the equation takes away that that the competitive you shouldn't have like the competitive nature of the game and the um like grind to win you know yeah. nature of the game you, they're, they're sort of incompatible in a lot of ways although. Obviously, there's a lot of games which, <laughs> you know, like... The trainer comms do a pretty good job of compromising between the two, though. Yeah, well, that's what we're trying to do now, yeah. We're more more diverse trainer commanders, which have full morph levels and these sorts of things. Anyway, how far is the crow? The crow is currently about two minutes away from being done, though it really depends on how much... Oh, boy. Well, it's going to get up. It's going to actually happen. Yeah, there's oh, enough time. Surprised. Although, it's going to be close. Because Yogg's out pushing in, that is... This push in is going to be about a minute long, depending on how aggressive Yogg-Sath is, but given how much the commander is pushing, I think aggressiveness it's is It's 16k your against 3k. Yeah. I think that the um, the Copperheads are going to be the problem, because they can just kite the um, the Crow. So he's going to have to do re retreat and repair. It's not going to be an instant win button, but it's it might clear up a lot of things and um, take out a commander or two. So Yeah, it should be it's a definitely, slow assistance definitely worth at least. And they're not losing as fast as they would, considering that they have 4.5k 4, 4 invested right now in, in something that hasn't paid off yet. Oh, wait. This so they're holding well. Just noticed the wind counter was wrong. Uh, Love making roaches too, which is really good against this, against um, the current combo. And yep. Yogg has cloaked his commander. Oh, you need to Well, they had cloaked the commander, but now. Doesn't matter that that was what they needed. The Black Dawn. Oh, not gonna die yet. No, the Black Dawn's still very much alive. And the There's a ton of roaches in the middle of the field. Almost done. And he's oh, trying yeah, to morph a. He's trying to morph a, a, a um a mobile cloak ah, generator. See, yeah. But um for the for, for cloak roach. Yep. Which is which is an excellent stalling oh, tactic. Extremely. But, um, I mean, I've seen a comeback from that in one of the casting games. Had a one v one. The truth is, he could run in with the roaches now. You don't even need the cloaking generator. The only thing, the commander is the only thing that can hit them. Yeah, but... Yeah, he's finally got it, but it's a little bit outright. too late, so it's all on the crow now. But he wants to kill the commander outright, Which is eight likely, seconds away. Yeah. That roach! That roach! Okay, there we go. Now the roach is getting in. And one roach! And two roaches! Nice! Gets rid of Reaper, heavily damages the other, and Yogg's commanders. Sheesh. That's level four commanders. He no has surprise there, but still. Yeah, he has a lot of plating. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, a lot of plating indeed. However, the crow is up! Here comes the crow. He, they need to... They the need to... They're out of factories, up. though. They have one constructor left. That's everything. Yeah, but we'll see. That's the only yeah, the constructor of the factory. Because yeah, this this crow is it. If that crow does not win the game, we are going on <laughs> to game two. Well, actually, we're going to game two anyway. But then Skazi and Yogstoth would only have to win one more time. I haven't seen a crow in a long time. Let's see if it can take out these copperheads. This is what it needs to do. Well, it took out one. And oh, uh, it might even bump the. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's taking out the other. Yes, it's yeah, it's uh, Wow. No, it's retreating. It's, it's getting out of there. It's getting hit by too much AA. It might go down. Oh, wow. Of course, the Reaper can actually hit Oh, it. no, it shouldn't have bombed. That slows it down. It's You, you slow... Oh, you, uh, yep. No, there's, there's fighters now. Well, those fighters, no, those fighters are going to get distracted. They're not going to be hitting the crow. Stuff, but the Hawks... No, the Hawks are. No, so that's it, it, the it's, game. It's, it's, it's over. That. They almost got the crow up in time. If they had gotten a little more reclaim or pumped both of their Ecos in, it would have installed a bit better. Might have worked, yeah, but nailed it, the truth is they can just get up fighters in response to the crow, which can, yeah. Which was a bit of torture for them. It was, it was. Too many small units for too long. Yep. And then a too big of a unit for too long. <laughs> yeah, so that's the takeaway from that one. No win in transition unit type, especially an IC run. Where every unit matters. Yeah, I, I think that um, it was the Wyvern that really won that game. Oh, definitely. The Wyvern and with some assistance from the Tremor. Those are the most. Yeah, I, I, 
the tremor was okay, but it's just the the constant efficient trading on IC run is everything because the economy is so small and defense is so easy. I don't know if I told that you just trading. need to trading. I mean, we we're dealing with a Wolverine that basically didn't die and took out everything. Yeah, you're trading for a very small amount of AA damage, which doesn't kill anything. So for nothing in return for killing some of their units. It's it's an efficient trade. Yeah, I guess yeah, infinity efficiency is efficient. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't I cannot argue that point. Technically you lose a little little bit of build power or at least airplane. It's a bit of time. Pad it's just the time. time is that's And you lose some energy. You have You lose energy. Yeah, I suppose. It's important. You'll need an extra solar collector or something. All right, so I guess we're moving on to game two, whenever that's chosen. I don't know what's taking so long to pick the map for Lowry and Flipstep. But we'll see what they go for. I'm curious, actually, because Lowry, we saw last time. Wait, what did we see last time? That does? Or Flores, I can't remember what we saw last time. What do you mean? Well, Lowry and Flipstep picked a map against Google Frog and Aquanim one time. And Oh, and Geyser Plains. Oh, right, yeah, right, that's right. Yeah, so maybe we'll pick that again. I'm not sure. I don't think so, because they didn't have much of a strategy for you that. You might one. want to spec, by the way. Hmm? I Oh, crap. How did that happen? Okay. Oops. I'm not playing the game. I, I'm i not trying to cheat. And I don't have my life savings bet on one of the players. They're not going to break my thumbs. All that is true, by the way. I'm not actually being in any way suspiciously specific. Ooh, it's Red Comet. Oh, of course. Rapid map. That would be a map that Louder would pick. Although, yeah, that'd be a map that Louder would pick. Okay, so Heavy Tanks and Flip Stip. Vehicles. Yeah, probably have tanks and vehicles. Both sides. Oh, well, I don't know. Lowry might still be on a hovercraft kick. I'm trying to remember. If everyone is okay with it, we can do a 15-minute break. Oh, flip Or are you in the middle of the night and do you want to get uh, well, to sleep? Well, it's not really the middle of the night anymore. It's 7 a.m. So, I don't know. I mean... Yeah, because Flipstip, Flipstip has to go. I don't know. I probably should... I'm okay, all fine with doing the finals now and do the third place, second match uh, afterwards. Yeah, I, I think that's probably... I guess if people want to watch it. and um, If want to watch the bronze match afterwards. Yeah, I think, I think it's always better to do that. It just makes editing a little bit wonky. That's the only thing. Although, I guess if it's bronze match one, it's not the biggest deal. I can work around that. Okay, well, I guess we'll do that then. So yeah, we're going to be doing the finals of tournament. Magman QA versus Google Frog and Aquanim. So, where's your money on? No one, actually. I wasn't betting anything. Hmm. I don't generally gamble. Stupidity attacks. Hmm? Gambling is the stupidity attacks. Yeah, tax. exactly. So I don't see why I would need to pay it. Mm -hmm. Seems rather pointless to me. Every time you cross if the street, you gamble. If you, if well, you okay, if you don't cross um, on a crosswalk. Statistics. I mean, that'd be more like saying every time you jump in front of a car, you gamble. Because, I mean, you do. You're know, gambling on the fact that the person in front will just be able to slam on the brakes in time in order to avoid hitting you. But that's not really yeah. what you try to do in general living their life. Unless you're trying to get by a car, in which case you do do that. If you know that and person is very rich and isn't yeah. driving that fast. Well, yeah. I mean, you do that for the rest of your life, which, if you don't do it well, will be painfully brief. On the other hand, if you can get a good lawsuit out of it, Maybe. At least in the United States, that is. Yeah, I don't know how that... 
Oh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I guess we'll take a break. I'm gonna go eat a thing. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'll just meet, meet the Oh, gotta so. go and get a drink and eat some. Intermission time. We'll, we'll be back with the rest of the semi uh, the bronze match, I should say. The rest of the bronze match in about 15 minutes, so stay tuned or set your timer and retune in after 15 minutes. There'll just be music for a bit on loop. From Schneidermesser. Yeah, Danny Schneidermesser. <laughs> <laughs>